of course welcome back to the turbo build right here we're starting finally got the hood off right here we got the engine right there and we're gonna start off trying to take the engine down to the heads all the way down the block actually put head gaskets on it so that's gonna be really good we're gonna go ahead and get started taking the plenum off getting the intake manifold off five minutes in and we've already cleared up this engine bay a lot by getting rid of the violin case and the stock box so we're gonna take the rest of the stock box out right now pile of garbage let's see what else we got we got some sensors we're gonna put that to the side let's go ahead and get this box out real quick lord why ain't there enough room in the engine bay i think these i think i've had this off before and there is no room to turn these that one's already loose we're going to untighten that one by hand. That one's hand tight as well. Right. <laughs> I can see why one. when we put it back on, we probably didn't even bother with the wrench. <laughs> that one's hand tight as well. <laughs> yep, we definitely didn't bother with the wrench last time we put that back that in. That one's got a little bit more toughness to her. Good Lord. Why has it got to be so long? Put the jackhammer to be on here. Hold on. The entire thing's turning. I gotta hold it from the bottom. No wonder it wasn't coming off. There we go. Airbox gone. All right, quick update. We got the airbox, following case, everything's out. We got the battery out, the battery tray out to give us a little extra room. Started to take the fluid or power steering fluid thing off just because we needed to get some of the uh, radiator hoses off. But we got the whole fan shroud off. We can now access the front of the engine. So then we can start getting all this off right here, the wiring, intake manifold, throttle body. We'll take the alternator off and get down to the valley. And then that'll get us ready for getting these heads off. Of course, we got the oil drained right here. Just got done draining it and coolant's out. So we're gonna be ready to go taking that stuff out. But you know, rain clouds coming up, so we'll have to see. Also, here's everything we took out. There's the fan, radiator hosing, air box. Look at how big that whole assembly is. Glad that's gone. We got our tray, we got our coolant uh, reservoir. But yeah. All right, we got alternator off right here. Everything's all taken off. She's looking good. We got water pump bracket, uh, or the front of the water pump that hooks to the belt broke loose. So when it comes to taking it off, it'll be ready to go. Alternator's in here. Looking good. Got the parts taped to it. So now next we're gonna get the fuel rails off and get the plenum out. Well, hood's back on, downpour is beginning. Got pretty far. We got uh, the last thing we got off was the throttle body, and I pulled the fuel rails up a little bit. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the uh, wiring harness out so I can get the fuel rails and everything up so then the whole intake manifold can come up. But yeah, that's a little, little first little dig into the Thunderbird build. And as it starts pouring rain, see you next time.